I think that kind of became clear to me when, so, there's a bit of a difficult topic for me to talk about because it's a bit cringe um, <laughs> to me when we were small and uh, I kind of developed um, weird interests, not in like puberty weird interests, and that's also not weird, that's just puberty, but kind of the different toys I would always like. like I had this phase where I was absolutely matchbox cars, right? And then at this phase where I was into toys uh, from uh, this this one local brand that we have and then I was into collecting uh, stamps and to be honest, thinking back, it's very cringe how I always thought, oh this is it, this is the hobby but you were always 100% there to support me and I, I can kind of the exact moment where I realized that because I was I think I was going to the store to, to get a matchbox car but I'm not too sure why I why I did go and I went and at the store I had this sudden change of mind where I didn't want a matchbox car and instead wanted something else to be honest it doesn't really matter what but you were there with me, right? You remember, maybe you remember. So you were there with me, and we got to the encounter with the car, and uh, there were some people behind us. But I was like, wait, no, I don't want this car. I don't want this car. And you said, okay, I'll stall for you. Stall for me. We were like eight years old. You'd stall for me at the counter. I don't do that. I wouldn't do that now. I mean, I would do for you because of this. But, like, for other my friends, I would not stall at a counter if my life depended on it. I'm there. I'm... this instant where my mother left me there and got something and I was just there and waiting. I did not have that but I imagine that and it's probably one of my one of my nightmares. It's it's up there. It's definitely up there. <laughs> so yeah that was kind of the moment I thought yeah I mean I have the I I found the person I can trust in these situations, so I only, only wish the best for you. That has to be has to be said. I only wish the best for you. I wish that you find a free spot, free parking space wherever you go. Everywhere. I wish that whenever you walk through the city, you see um, all the activists are already talking to someone else. I wish that um, your shoelaces may never get untied, and if you want them to get untied, then that you always pull on the right string or the right lace when untying them. Aren't these some cool things to wish? I think they really are. So I yeah, just all in all, thank you very much for being there for me. Um, I'm just always humbled your existence and the fact that we're friends um, so yeah I'm really not that good with words um, I have been beating around the bush for some time but this is basically kind of the message I want to convey is that thank you very much for being there and for just accepting me the way that I am and also for being quirky with me. I mean, if you remember, like we were like, that was a bit, a bit less time ago, maybe like 16, 17. And uh, I don't even know what we played. Probably family, but in a weird way, right? <laughs> I never, we never really played family, did we? I mean, if we did, you would probably be a very, very good partner. Like marriage partner, I mean. Not only are you beautiful, which is something that a partner should be.
also everything a partner should kind of like one would look for in a partner, right? Everything. Every little thing. So be confident with that. Be confident. But yeah, as I said, um, we, we kind of didn't really play family, but something else. Just playing like kids always do. And to think that even at that age, <laughs> you were always kind of one step ahead and whatever you did something. So imagine we're playing, we're playing a stall, okay, imagine playing stall. I'm not sure whether we did, we might have done, but I just need a, an example to tell you what exactly I mean. So imagine we're playing stall, you're playing the, uh, the, the kind of clock, I play customer, I buy stuff, I leave, and you, you wouldn't say, okay, let's play something else, okay, I've sold your stuff now, let's, let's get the next customer, no. What you did, I say, okay, so I have uh, sold you something now, now I need to uh, count everything, and then when I want to close, I need to make sure everything is there, I need to put it into the, uh, into the vault, so it's kind of always one step ahead in terms of understanding of the world, at least to me, maybe to other people, you're just on par with the standard, but to me, and I don't think of myself as dumb, you're always this one step ahead in terms of just understanding. Yeah, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, thank you so much for, for listening to my rambling. So I, I hope that you have a fantastic evening and night and I'll, I will hear again. I'm, I'm sure we'll hear again from each other. I'll see you again.